Hi. I'm outside again, if you couldn't tell. So according to YouTube statistics, not a lot of people enjoy intros anymore. I couldn't imagine why. So I'm cutting this one short. We're revisiting Minecraft The Orphanage after like a billion years. We should have really done this map for part one. Casual YouTube stuff, um, like, so If we could surpass two subscribers, that would be epic. Make sure to hit that notification bell, click off the video and click back on so I get more views and watch time. And I don't know, maybe share with friends or something. That button is there for a reason. <laughs> We have to play on pocket because the <laughs> Java kept crashing. First thing he's spawning is this intro lobby thing, of course. It just has all the instructions and explains how this map is like 50 billion years old. Wow, rules! It was a dark and clear night. You're driving down your car, trying to get to wherever you needed to go to. You don't realize that your car needs gasoline very, very quickly and it starts to run out. You are left stranded on the side of the road, desperately looking for other cars to pick you up and take you somewhere for help. Unfortunately, and suspiciously, no cars drive by, so your objective is to now look for shelter. You start wondering, and it didn't take you long to wander to this seemingly abandoned orphanage. Read the rules and press go. Yo! I don't think that's meant to look like that. Yo, I'm dripped out gamers. Perfect. Yeah, that's the map intro. So this is where the map starts. You're seemingly in the middle of nowhere. And if you look back at yourself, the road just abruptly ends both ways. How did you get here? Okay, look, I'm gonna be real with you. When you're going to California, it's you make you turn you make a left as you walk up and take a left turn. Not the left. Damn, as you walk up and take a right turn, you could see a clearly abandoned orphanage. And for some reason, you emphasize like there's someone in there. Now, what should you do in this situation? Welcome to the show of a, a question. I'm asking you a question, and you have to be the one to add this. The trick has already been taken. Now, do you seek shelter in the obviously abandoned and haunted orphanage where probably 50 murders have happened? Or do you take a look to your left and just walk a little extra mile or two and stay at the completely safe looking and great village in the distance getting so many nice people, maybe even a blacksmith or two to fix up your car? Do you go there instead? My money's on option A. Of course! Oh my gosh, I shouldn't do that again. This setup is actually sketch. <laughs> of course! You're gonna go into the abandoned orphanage and you're not even gonna knock. You think that there's someone in there, but you're not even gonna knock. You're gonna break in. My only question is if you expect that someone is gonna be. Ooh, the moon! Okay, you're now in the orphanage area. Hold on, let me just. Uh, yep, cool. And you progress to the actual building. Now, what is the first thing you come up on the path? Of course, it's a line of blur! Special YouTube source, obviously. It's, it's someone was clearly having a hot dog party, yeah? There's the bottle. Please don't see me, YouTube. I have a family and f Oh, it just ends. Now, of course, naturally you progress further. I'm gonna go through this because I'm a rebel. And once you do progress further, you reach the actual building. Oh, no. Oh! Oh no, it's a nice ghost staff member. So kind to come watch you and greet you at the door. Oh, it's gone, okay. Okay, so now you go into the actual building because somehow it's left unlocked, I guess. And um, it gets interesting. Let's just take care, take it. Oh, what? This place is old. I wonder if there's anyone left. Go, help me. And that's a horrible voice. Help me. It's even worse. Help me. She is torturing me. Wait, what? My question is, why the actual hell is your first instinct to investigate the noises? My first instinct would be to run. Like, dude, this orphanage is so sketch, and I can't even prove it to you without mentioning this. Or this. Or this. And, oh goodness, not this. Oh my goodness, that was so terrible. Are you glad I didn't mention it? After a bit of exploring, nothing. Okay, game, no need to. When you come across a. Cl Closs? When you come across a closet. 
and a monster, but it didn't show up because this map is like 50 billion years old and we have to play on pocket because uh, it's broken and everything. Now, there's some books in here. Now, I don't want to read it. And I for sure know you guys aren't gonna read it, so I'm gonna summarize it. Basically, there's this new girl that came into the orphanage, and she's acting kind of strange. And then she gets even stranger. She draws some red circles in art, but that's that's all good. Then she disappears. That's basically the first book. The second book just just takes it from one to eleven for a bit, and it's a diary of someone literally getting murdered at the scene. Um, no, not murdered. Getting hugged to death. YouTube. And yeah, she says, uh, you need to stop this girl called Alex, you need to put chalk on every single red circle you come across in the orphanage. And she gives us five chalk in the same chest. Thanks, person. That would have been great when I came across like 50 red circles before coming across this book. Now I have to retrack and get them. So let's just speed run it. Oh no, creepy noise. Oh, there we go. It just took a while. How do they still have fresh apples? Oh, <laughs> Yummy. The audio is like, this audio is gonna get so corrupted. <laughs> I think that was the last one. The sound is coming from upstairs. Yo, there's a disc player. There's a few red circles around, and once you place them on all four inside the orphanage, the third layer is unlocked, and you hear some noises. So naturally, you go investigate it because apparently you hate your life for some reason. Bedroom set number one, nothing in it. Bedroom set number two, nothing in it. Bedroom set number three, nothing in it. Bedroom set number four, oh my gosh, what the hell is that thing? That is not a human, 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 that is not- Why would you walk close to it? Why are you walking close to it? What the hell are you doing? I'm not even gonna commentate this, why are you walking close to- Oh my gosh guys, this girl literally no clipped into the back rooms and to the blue way. Oh yes, more law. That's what we need at this time. More law. Quick, there is a camera behind the building. You there's two one more circle. Shut up! You don't understand how powerful I am! You time before you even reach there! So, naturally, because you're too tied into this now, that's what you do. Is that bet? Dude, bear! You want Do you want to? You want to catch? I will speed run your entire. Any percent speed run? Minecraft orphanage speed run? Is it blood raining? Is it blood raining? Yo, I'm like the dream, but quicker. There it is. Okay, there it is. Oh, where's the door? There it is. You put the chalk on the circle and... Oh, this is awkward. So yeah, I don't. I ran out of footage here because apparently the map broke right at the finale. So I'm just going to steal... I mean, borrow some ancient Dan TDM footage from like 2013. Picking up where we left off. You put the final piece of chalk on the red circle. The demon is finally gone. So Sarah asks you to meet her by the entrance, but the blood rain is still falling. You start to get suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy, stupid human. Entirely. Do you know who I am? I am Sarah. The magic wasn't there to kill me, it was there to seal me. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. So we just went ahead and did the reverse of what she wanted? Welcome to hell. Go. I'm trying to read books. She, she was the demon this whole time. I know that those circles were just there to suppress her and the orphanage to track her forever and eternity, but now you freed her and now she's going to damn human race for all eternity. And you are now trapped in the orphanage. This is what you get for not taking that small one mile detour to the friendly. Uh, village in the distance. The price you gotta pay for being lazy. Bro, the story was even more lazier than the one we saw. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the segment. I be a huge hypocrite and actively, harshly judge the maps to hell and back because I I'm just like that. Gameplay gets a faulty 16 gigabyte USB out of 10. You only did like two things. Story gets a microwaved pizza out of 10 because it seems broad and predictable. And lastly, Scare Factor. It didn't really scare me while I was playing it, apart 
from one time. We're not gonna mention that clip. Nothing. But uh, back then, it was like the scariest thing in existence. Just look at all the clickbait thumbnails. Anyway, that's me being outside and rambling on about a stupid 50 billion year old map for like nine minutes. Okay, bye bye! Hold on, let me just uh. Yep, cool. We're up here now. Hell yeah, we got a painting. Perfect. This can't show YouTube, it's can't show Bro, this is the try not to get banned video right here. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! There we go. Let's just take care, take it. Oh what? This place. Oh, I wonder if there's anyone left. Yo, that's 11? Yo, is that the new hit disc 11? Where can I play this? <laughs> Take the string. Keep it. Can I play it here? <laughs> Scariest thing about the map so far. Can I just jump out? Okay. With nothing in it. I'm so glad about that. Look at these bookshelves. What's that? What's that? Is that a how to subscribe? You should follow that. Okay, I won't. Nothing. <laughs> Okay, game, no need to chalk red. I'm pretty sure chalk is meant to be white, but okay. Okay, to be real, I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't know what any of this stuff means because everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone's played this map before. So let's just speedrun it. Oh no, creepy noise? Oh, there we go, it just took a while. Don't worry guys, it was, it was there. Right, can we take the knife? Is there is there like no weapon in here? We need all of this random junk. All of it. How do they still have fresh apples? Oh. <laughs> Yummy. Is there like literally no weapon? I am so sick and tired of people in these games not taking not taking knives. Knives are everywhere and no one grabs no one takes them all. No one takes any of them. Butter! Yo, butter! This butter is made of 24 karat gold. Not running in the holes. Okay, I'm like, oh. Someone got dragged into the eternal abyss. I don't think that's meant to happen. Die, help me. That thing has is infested with like at least 20 diseases. Ah! <laughs> come at me, come at me, I'll crit you, I'll crit you. This is demonetization fest right here. I swear this is meant to activate. There we go. Was it meant to emit our flight? Hold up. One second. Yo, guys, I didn't know the sphere lit up like that. Such great map design. Thank you so much for coming to my pet's presentation. I've brought you this butter and this stick and these dub diaries. Yeah. Help me. Kinda lost a bit. There we go. Next page. After I'm done, I'm a lock. The door, throw away key off a cliff into a porch, down a hole, and light it on fire. Sign Mikwas this author, your mother incorporated. Sign and close. There we go. Mm. The carrot ritual. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm done now. So, hold up. Complete this parkour. I'm gonna do what the, the guy should have done ages ago. Bye bye orphanage. I will miss you never. Okay, it says it's just a maze of ocean. That's nice. Right now, we get our character to swim up. Eventually, we'll reach the surface. We just need a... There we go. 
See, this is what we should have done. Look how cozy this place is. Hmm. Those look like very interesting hay bales, would you agree? Hey, um... You know, I'm starting to regret coming here. But hey, at least it's better than being down there. Sorry! Yeah, I think I've seen enough. 